Hello, in this video we'll show you how to add page jumps or WordPress anchor links to your WordPress blog or a WordPress page. So we have a, a sample article that has already been written out. Now we just want to add a, ideally a table of contents after the introductory paragraph. Again, this is, you know, you can do it on uh, depending on your style, but this is what we prefer. We prefer to answer the, uh, the subject. Um, whatever the page article title is, we like to answer that in a very concise format at the top in an intro paragraph. And then uh, you have further sections explaining different aspects uh, of the topic. And you, uh, we like to create a table of contents immediately after. So we'll show you how to create a very basic one in this video. First thing, let's add a new row. Drag that to the top. I'm using the uh, the middle mouse button or wheel. You do that, and then you can add a new uh, text block. We've gone ahead and added the four subsections. Let's keep the same consistent font. We were using heading four for the text. So you have these four subsections here. And then how it works is so sometimes this happens, so make sure you... And this is, again, this is using a, a page builder called WP Bakery. Uh, it is um, the same company as Visual Composer, a slight rebranding. Uh, it comes built in most WordPress themes, so I'm sure you're very familiar with this. Now, once you have this, uh, let's make them a hyperlink color. Uh, we like to, you know, either make them a slight light blue. You don't have to do that. You can use the default as well, but if you do, as use the default color, then just select hyperlink. Um, we like to go here, and then you don't want to open a link in a new tab because you want to do a, a intra-page jump to somewhere lower on the page. Um, but what you do want to do is make sure that you have the same um, as the link text. So anyway, that's that's what it looks like. You want to do the same for the rest. Let's just do one more example together. Put a hashtag in front, add link, done that, hit save. Now you want to add a snippet of uh, HTML in front of each custom heading section or whatever your subtopic uh, section looks like. So we'll just prepend to this column. We'll add a, I'm going to do add raw HTML and find that here, right here. This is the dummy text, so you just need to change this uh, with the exact uh, subtopic title. So let's do an example. For example, the, f the first one. This, I want to copy and have it be here exactly. Uh, you want to check that it is identical because even if you have one extra space like this, the page jump will not work. So it needs to be identical. Then I would just cop copy that. And uh, before we do that, one thing is you do want to move it uh, above the custom heading. Um, so let's just do that. And then let's make copies all the way down. So we've done this for all four subtopics. Let's just check. Do always do a quick spot check. Plus, this is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. So we're so we should be. Let's just preview to see what it looks like. So you'll notice if you click this, it will jump. However, now this is a preference because it jumps right below this. And keep in mind that we do have this um, header uh, tab here. So it will look slightly different on someone who's not logged in. Um, however, it seems to uh, go right here, but you can't see the subtopic. Now, depending on your preference, and we do prefer this, we prefer for it to jump exactly here. Uh, and we'll show you to do that, you will want to add empty space uh, in our experience of 70 pixels exactly. So let's do that. Add empty space. 
70 pixels. Let's hit preview. And uh, it does jump approximately to this. One more thing. Uh, before you replicate all of this, we should clone this title and have a section here just to denote that it is a table of contents. It's just nice to have. This is personal preference as well. So we've hit update on the article. Um, we've also changed to a, uh, a different page template. Again, this will vary depending on your theme, what you're using, uh, where now we are showing a sidebar. Um, and again, let's try this. So this is with 70 pixels. It may be a bit too much. So it, this can vary by theme. 70 pixels may have worked for some themes. Um, you know, it might be a little bit too much. So you can experiment. So we just updated the spacing to 35 pixels. You can refresh Control R or even better Control F5 to clear your cache. And let's try again. So. It is, a, it is a bit less, so let's just clear our cache again. And yeah, it's a bit less, so you, you don't need to overdo it. And uh, again, you can you know try different screen sizes too. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely fine. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching our tutorial on how to add page jumps or anchor links to WordPress. Uh, these are really nifty little things. It helps with navigation, um, helps uh, organize long articles, and uh, if your readers are looking for something specific, they can jump to it directly near the beginning of your article. Uh, even better, they do offer some SEO benefit because if you do have uh, correctly uh, written uh, page jumps, they will often show up as uh, hyperlinks, um, uh, mini site links within a, uh, a search result. So, you know, if a uh, virtual assistant, this article comes up, you might get mini page jumps for some of these um, some of these in a site link format on Google. So it does help with SEO. Um, it certainly looks professional and we hope you enjoy this video. And if you did, uh, we would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe if you like to see more videos such as this. And if you wanna see uh, our latest selection of um, video resumes from highly qualified assistants who are um, very savvy with WordPress and can help you upload articles, uh, do all of the um, you know, formatting if you want to um, have page jumps, for example, added across your site. I mean, that's quite a manual task. And uh, why not hire someone through JobStop who is already familiar with WordPress and can, can do it for you? Um, anyway, if you leave a comment uh, either on our site or on our YouTube channel, uh, we will respond to you and we'll also subscribe to you. So thank you so much and we hope to hear from you.